everyone so welcome to my new video i am wearing my walmart lounge pants so they have some lightning bolts and some flying keys and wands i have no idea why but there is a cat on here i guess it could be crookshanks but yeah so anyways cute little 19 dollar walmart lounge pants like i said i usually am wearing something harry potter related and today it's these so as you can see, I finally found something to fit my window. It is the Flying Keys Wall Tapestry. It was made in 2000, so it's vintage, it's 20 years old, which is just absolutely crazy to think about, but I do love it. And it's not a perfect fit, but it was the best thing that I have found and I've been searching for a really long time. So um, it is, purchased off of eBay and I paid $73 for it um, and yeah it's this one was used condition I don't think you can really get something brand new from the year 2000 um, but there's nothing wrong with it I think it's in great condition and so I'm super happy that it's finally up there um, I love the colors. I love Harry's bright green eyes. I love I love all art when it comes to the flying keys. Like I've seen a lot of different variations of this scene um, that different artists have done and I'm quite happy with with this specific one. So yeah, I'm excited to finally have something up there. It is by Crown Crafts. I've never heard of that maker before, but that's what comes up for this item is Crown Crafts. So if you're looking for this item, flying key wall tapestry or a tapestry, um, and there were a couple more on eBay. So, I mean, good luck. I'm sure that you can find one if you look hard enough. So yeah, exciting, happy it's finally up there. Um, and yeah, so today I am super excited because I filmed my other video probably about a week ago now. I am not good with patience, so I have had a box on my floor from Noble Collection, right over there, um, for a week that has wands in it that I have not opened. And um, you don't know me well, but my patients are like non-existent, so this has been absolutely a horrible week for me. So I'm just going to open it because I just can't wait any longer. So Accio Box. All right, big box. So my last video, I took all the plushies out of this box, which I'm super excited about. As you can see behind me, there are two new shelves and I now have my plushies up. So last video, I added Dobby and Creature and the Demi Guys. I do highly recommend buying the Demi Guys. Um, Creature and Dobby are super cute, but I mean, the Demi Guys was unbelievable. Okay, so, wands, I'm like a kitty little schoolgirl. Okay, so, open. Okay, so, the normal collection sure does use a lot of tape and packaging, but it's so that nothing breaks on shipping, and I've only ever had one thing arrive broken, and they sent me a brand new one, so... Their shipping is amazing, their customer service is amazing, and I highly re recommend purchasing stuff from them. Okay, so this is the Weasley wand set. I am super excited about this. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I'm a little bit confused. So it comes in a bunch of pieces. Hopefully it's not hard to assemble. I'm not great with things like that. So there's a W. That's pretty freaking cute. I'm very excited about the W. Okay. Another W. I'm assuming this is like what's going to hold their wands. A wand. Ta-da. I'm covered in some bubble packaging. And the other wand. Oh, wow. Okay, I like this um, handle. Oh, it's even like comfier to hold. That's like, you'd get a really good grip. Oh, except it would like hurt if you squeezed too tight. But cute, we'll get back to that. Um, some screws. 
some more foam. goodness okay open okay so here we go oh that's got some weight to it if you have the tri wizard um, stand and wands it's really heavy kind of like this so all right W and W, how amazing is that? I absolutely love it. What a brilliant base for their wand stand. So again, really great quality. The weight of it is very sturdy. It says Harry Potter and Warner Brothers on the back. It's got the four little pads, so it's not going to scratch. Okay, let's see how hard this is to assemble because I'm not, I'm not the best at this. There's a W. Okay, I'm not even going to tell you how long that took me to um, put together, but it's put together and I am super proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, it did require a screwdriver. So, you know, fun muggle tools. So... Fred's wand, which I'm assuming, I think I've heard that it's supposed to look like the pine, a pine cone, like that they're wood-ish wands or nature-ish wands. So amazing. Love it. And George's wand. So there. And so there it is in all of its glory and I'm super excited to add this to my collection. It's going to go on my Weasley shelf um, over there. You can't see it, but I will show you a picture when it's all um, where it needs to be. Okay, good. I was worried. Like from the back, there's the red W as so I was making sure that there's a red W on the front too. So yeah, super cute, really good quality. Um, Noble Collection usually is really high quality, so I wasn't expecting anything but high quality, um, and they definitely came through with that. So the nitty gritty, these wands are $79 US, Canadian, that's about $110 to $115 depending on the exchange rate that day when you purchase them because the dollar does go up and down. Um, and then of course $19 shipping which is US. So it's not it's not a cheap investment but wands really from noble collection are high quality and so um i i personally like to invest my money in them um if my mom is watching this please for the love of god and all that is holy don't start texting me about spending 110 or 115 dollars on wands because um there's more and i'm sure that all of you guys know collecting is not um, cheap, but I don't buy expensive clothing. I don't get my hair done. I don't, like I'm not, this is what I like to spend my money on. So yeah, anyways, 110 to $115. Highly recommend this. I'm super excited that it's finally joined my collection. I'm gonna go put it on the shelf over here, two seconds, because putting it on the bed is just going to be an accident waiting to happen. Alright, and I will show you what that looks like in a second. So, more wands. I'm super excited. I wasn't expecting this one to be so big. I do know what it is. Um, I have no idea where in my room I'm going to put it, but I have wanted this. So, open. Okay. Lots of foam everywhere. I have absolutely no idea how to take this out of the box. Okay, you're gonna get to see it before I do. Okay. I have no idea what that looks like because I took it out and I'm showing you this way and I'm hoping it's super cute. Do you all know what this is? 
Bellatrix Lestrange's wand stand. And it does come with her wand. Um, I'm freaking in love with this. It is so much bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, pictures are super deceiving. So yeah, wow. I love the design on it. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I will do a close up for you guys. It is amazing and it has like the little wall or like the little plaque right there that says Bellatrix Lestrange, which I love because um, a lot of Noble Collections wands, depending on which standard you buy, um, comes with like the little plaque uh, that you can attach to the um, wand display if you have the Noble Collection wand display box. So yeah, super excited. I did not know it came with this, but oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Like, is that not the cutest? Where the hell does this go on there? Oh my gosh, I, I really gotta start looking at things before I buy them. This is amazing. It's the little, her little Death Eaters mask. And it goes on the wand stand. It's gonna be more putting together, but that's okay. Okay, and then her wand. I am a Gryffindor. I am not a Slytherin. I'm not a Death Eater. I'm not into all of that, but I love Bellatrix. And so, wow, you guys, this is really cool. So here's her wand. It's super detailed. I love the, there's a very, really cool design etched into the side of it. And I love that it's angled because most of the wands, like here's Ron's wand, is straight. So this is so fun and so different, which I love. So, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited to get this up on my wall. I don't know how you put this on because I, I will figure that. <laughs> We're gonna have to beat that. <laughs> Sorry. I have a potty mouth occasionally, so there's gonna be a big beep and it's because I swore. So yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I don't know if this is the way it goes. My heart dropped. I don't know. I'm assuming that that's the way that it goes. I really gotta look at the pictures before I unbox these things. I'm gonna assume that's the way it goes. And then there's a little Death Eater mask goes there, but I can't put that on. So there's gonna be some fun maneuver. I, I don't know y'all, just give me two seconds to, to get this, okay? There, the cute little Death Eater's mask is attached. The wand is the right way. There's still lots of foamy packaging on it, but I think it's amazing. I'm super excited to find a place to hang this in my room. I'm assuming it's probably go gonna go on the right side of my room. That's where I have um, the Marauder's Map wand set and the Triwizard wand set, and I've got the Weasley wand set now there. Um, I'm going back and forth on whether or not I want the Dumbledore Army wand set. I do have all of their wands and it's in the Noble Collection wand stand um, that you can get, but I don't have the Dumbledore's Army wand stand. So if I buy that, I'm gonna have duplicates of all of their wands. And so I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I wish you could buy the stand separately. You can't, but. So this was $45 US from the Noble Collection which is about, I don't know, $65 Canadian. And then once again, $19 shipping if you're buying that on its own, US, um, so $30 Canadian. So, I mean, they're not cheap. That's why I recommend buying a bunch of things at once and not like, and taking advantage of the $19 US shipping because, um, yeah, if you're gonna buy every single one of these items separately and you're paying that $30 Canadian shipping for every item, it just doesn't make it worth it. So pool your budget for a couple months and do one large purchase. That's what I do. 
So Bellatrix is one stand and wand. Love this. This is amazing. I highly recommend buying the Bellatrix wand stand. I love the Weasley one, um, but if I had to pick between the two, especially for cost, considering this was $45 and that was $79, I think that this is way cooler. But I mean, I do love the Weasley, the, blah, 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 the Weasley twins. I am a twin, an identical twin too. Um, so I have a uh, soft spot in my heart for them. But yeah, so if I had to pick, I would say spend your money on the Bellatrix wand and wand stand with the cute little Death Eater mask. It's definitely um, cooler in person than the Weasley wand stand. So yeah, I am going to hang all of these up. So in the last week, you can see how quickly my room changes around. I added two shelves in the back. I add shelves. It feels like every month or two, um, I'm going to be adding two new wands. Well, one wand display on the wall and then one on the shelf. Now that I've unpackaged these, I've got the wall hanging, which makes the room look different. So um, my room changes on a regular basis, which I love because um, it would get pretty boring in here can't say that because I could probably still spend hours looking at everything but um it's it's just it's nice to always come in here and be adding or changing things around and um yeah so if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments you can also see my collection on instagram at mischief managed yeg I will put that right there for you somewhere uh, make sure that you like and subscribe um and yeah Thank you for watching my video.